Hey guys, today's the video tip of the day. I want to cover nothing specific to back training with this uh, machine, but really just about thinking outside the box. Now, I'm currently uh, on vacation in Cabo. This is the uh, gym for the resort. There's a separate uh, cardio uh, room as well. You may have seen my video on that one as well. But here's the gym. So it's a pretty decent gym considering we actually have a bench press and a, and a barbell rack and a dumbbell set up to 80 pounds. Can't complain. But here is this, there's no real standard pull down, cable pull down station. So when you have this, this is a paramount uh, pull down with a, instead of using a cable or a, uh, even a strap like some select driving machines, this one uses sort of the lever system. So this is similar to like hammer strength lever, but it's selectorized. Now this is a very nice pull down because it allows you to have each arm separate so it's a little more natural feel. But this is how you do it, right? This is the way you're supposed to do this machine. Yes, but there's another way to do this. And this is where the thinking outside the box comes in. You guys know I like doing standing pull downs. And a lot of times people say, well, I don't have a pull down station. Well, here's a perfect example of an alternative for standing pull down. All you have to do is flip around on this bench now. And the biomechanics are completely different. Now, I'm pulling from in front of the body down. Now, can you see this angle? This is more like a standing pull down. When I do the standing pull down, do you see that? Now, the problem here is I'm not secure on the seat because I can't put my knees under here. So, if you have a training partner, you get somebody who holds you down or put a weight plate on, or, or if you realize, look, I'm limited to how much weight I can use on, the, on this pull down. So what I'm going to do is a super step, and I'm going to do this version second after I'm already fatigued. So you're going to do your standard pull down where you're secure until you go to muscle failure. And obviously I'm pretending muscle failure. Switch around, and my lats are already fatigued, so I can't use that much weight. It's not going to really be too heavy for my body weight. And now I can do my standing pull downs. And that's plenty of weight because my lats are already fatigued. So there. Two novel exercises, at least novel to your muscle fibers, because you don't have this machine like in your gym. You come here. Not only do you get a one machine, a pull-down machine that's going to teach your muscle fibers a little differently, but by switching your biomechanics around, turning on the bench, you now have two unique movements that you weren't using. So guys, like I said, always think. Check out the machine. Think about how you can use it in a different way to target different muscle fibers within that muscle group. Stay Jim Strong, guys.